I'm Keith Jarman, President of AME International. One of the questions we're asked most often is, which application requires which AME tools? And how our tools are used? We're working out in the field today in order to show you some of the use and application of our tools. I hope you enjoy this short demonstration video, and thanks for your support of AME. AME recommends the Tire Industry Association's Earth Mover Tire Service Training Program. For more information on this comprehensive program, please visit us on the web. Recent changes to three-piece wheels have created a need for new bead breakers. AME offers three solutions for these wheels, each with their own unique advantages. AME's 11,020 offers 11 tons of bead breaking force, longer teeth, and a longer jaw in order to tackle tires up to 29.5 by 25 in size. Please note the longer teeth on the 1120 on the left when compared to the standard bead breaker on the right. If you already own a standard bead breaker like the one on the right, you can use AME's upgrade kit, model 16200, which will fit on all AME manufactured bead breakers, as well as brands ISCO, Haltech, IMT, and Stellar. The modified combi works by hydraulically clamping itself to the wheel with the first cylinder before allowing pressure to build in the second cylinder, which then pushes the tire away from the wheel. Once the tool extends completely, release the pressure using the foot pump and reposition the tool to break the bead in another spot on the wheel. Depending on the tire, this step may need to be repeated in order to fully break the bead away from the wheel. Breaking the bead on the back side works the same way, although it may sometimes be more difficult to position the tool due to the frame on the vehicle limiting access to the wheel. The 11,090 Stinger Bead Breaker can also be used on new three-piece wheels. This tool manually clamps onto a rim flange. It is ideal for short flanges, which only give a small amount of area to grip. Once the frame is attached to the flange, the braking ram then fits inside the frame, allowing the operator to pivot the tool at a proper angle. Okay, that's good. The Stinger operates on the same principle as the 11,040 bead breaker, formerly known as the Goodyear TO100. While some dealers have used this tool on new three-piece wheels, it was originally designed for five-piece wheels with no bead loosening pockets. This tool clamps on the wheel and then the ram assembly fits inside the frame and can be adjusted in order to get the proper angle against the bead. Pressure can be applied as needed in order to push back the bead slowly, allowing the operator to check for rolling beads on soft ply tires. The most radical changes to the bead breaker market has been AME's 11,070 and 11,071 bead breakers designed for three-piece wheels. 
The 11,071 pictured on the left incorporates a larger opening and longer teeth ensuring that it will push against the bead of the tire rather than against the sidewall. Like all combi style bead breakers, it is important to watch the tool to ensure that the teeth are pulled as far against the rim flange as the tool will allow. In this case, the operator releases the tool for a second bite on the wheel, making sure the tool seats itself on the bead area. This tool works the same as the combi style, seating itself on the wheel before pushing the tire away from the wheel. This process may need to be repeated around the wheel until the tire is completely broken. To break the bead on the back side, repeat these same steps again, repositioning the tool around the wheel if needed. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for your support. And remember, when buying AME, you're buying quality, service, and experience. For more information, visit us on the web at beadbreaker.net.